Hey there, it's Mike from Motor Stop, and this is an overview and demonstration video on how to dry carpets without removing them. So after flooding, it's really important to dry the carpeting, the carpeting and the padding completely. Otherwise, you could get both mold or terrible smells. Of course, mold can, can even be deadly in certain situations, so you got to take care of it. You used to have to remove the carpeting and pay carpet guys to come in and rip the carpet out or hire a serve pro or a service master or any of those guys to come and do this. But you can really handle it yourself. And I'll explain to you how it's really simple. So all you need really is a carpet dryer. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into a room and you're going to peel back a corner of the carpet and then put the carpet, uh, the carpet dryer behind the carpet so that it blows underneath. And what it's going to actually do is levitate the carpet and blow underneath there. Now this particular unit we have has a carpet clamp on it, ROS2800. It's really powerful. And the beautiful thing about this carpet clamp is it won't let the carpet flop down off. And now you can do it in other ways. You could uh, put like toolboxes in the corners. But as you see when I turn this on, what's going to happen is it's going to make this carpet really uh, violently shake. And if you don't have this carpet clamp, you're just going to come in tomorrow. It's going to be flopped back over in the carpet. The air, the blower's going to be blown across the top of the carpet. So, we go ahead and turn this on. Get out of the way. So, you can see what it's doing. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to dry the, the carpeting completely in a very short period of time. But, the padding is the issue. So, you can't just think you've dried the carpet and you can walk across it and now you're okay because you have to make sure the padding is dry. They could actually even take days to dry the padding. If you don't dry it completely, mold can start to grow in there, which as we said is dangerous. Now there's another option to be super sure that there's no mold growth, and that's to use an ozone generator. Um, I have this 2500 here to show you. It's a two-plate ozone generator. It has a timer function and a hold option as well, and a variable ozone output. So what you do in this application is you put this next to the air inlet of the blower, plug it in, of course, you plug it into the GFCI outlet on the blower, and it'll blow ozone underneath as well as the nice dry um, fresh air that's going to be drying it as well. And that will guarantee that there's no mold growth or anything like that. You could try running that 12 hours at a time and don't make sure you don't use the ozone um, with people in the room. It should be used only in unoccupied spaces. What you want to do is continue to treat and retreat as necessary. And that's it. Couldn't really be easier to do. At Overstop, we only make professional grade products. They're heavy duty. And you can look for our trademark and trusted Overstop name. And subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you very much for watching.